Alright folks, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father and I'm here with my grand final predictions video. I'm going to be very, very quick. Obviously, Richmond played Port Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval in the preliminary final, which they narrowly won. Uh, it was a goal in it, maybe. There wasn't much in it anyway between Port and Richmond. They've held on at the end and they've seen it through to make uh, their grand final 2020 place possible. Um, Geelong, obviously, going the hard road because Port knocked them out. Oh, sorry, never knocked them out, but won the qualifying final um, way back now, a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Port beat them at the Adelaide Oval at the home uh, final there. Port's beat Geelong, so they've had to go the hard way through, obviously facing the Brisbane Lions, who likewise, like Port, have been number one and two in the competition, uh, I think, in 2020. Two fantastic teams. It would have been lovely to see those two teams make the grand final, because nobody would have expected that at the very, very start of the year. Uh, but it's not to be, sadly it's not to be, so Port I think and Brisbane Lions can hold their head up high, they've had a fantastic year this year, but bitterly disappointing in the end, um, so close but so far isn't it, um, but look here, Geelong and Richmond, two giants of the game, two huge historical clubs in the game, but Richmond have went the distance two times in the last three years. They're used to finals footy now. They're used to um, the pressure of this environment, whereas Geelong maybe not so much. In finals footy, they've not been as good over the last uh, several years. But do you know what? Are they going to send Gary Ablett Jr. Um, out with a bang? Is he going to win the grand final? I, I've got a funny feeling about this. They're going to be apparently missing Tom Hawkins for this one. I'm not too sure. I'll have to wait and see how that story pans out. I've heard he's in quarantine. I don't know if it's COVID related or if he's just away. Anyway, he's away from the, the, the team for whatever reason. I don't want to speculate at this point as I actually don't know. Maybe some of you guys actually do so you could let me know in the comments section but I don't believe he's worth the playing team anyway. Um, so look, that's a huge blow. He's the Coleman medalist of 2020. Um, so they'll, they'll, they'll be pretty annoyed about that, losing him if he's not available. But this is a predictions video. Geelong are off the back of smashing Brisbane Lions, 82-42. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal victory. And all the senior players, Dangerfield, Selwood, Gary Ablett Jr., so many of these guys, Hawkins, so many of these senior players are... Which, and to my own admission, I've been quite critical of last year, said the experience they had, they never showed that leadership last year, and they just went for... It was just so stagnant, it was just so stop starting last year but this year they've went they're producing the goods now and Richmond I don't know Richmond as good as they are there's something about them that's just still not been absolutely sensational but they're getting the job done and you cannot write them off I do not know what way the bookies have got this one if they've got Richmond favourites or Geelong if I was um, the one saying based on the preliminary finals who is the better one you'd probably put Geelong down as favourites in the grand final and also they've just played at the Gabba there last week against the the Lions or sorry at the weekend only a couple of days ago uh, and dismantled them really fantastic convincing victory there from them and um, so look who am I predicting for the grand final victory 2020's premiership winners drum roll please and the Dawn Fathers prediction for 2020 Premiership winners is the Geelong Football Club. I've just got this gut feeling about them. I've, I've got something's telling me they're going to do it. I think they're going to send Gary Ablett Jr. out with a bang. I don't believe he'll be playing next year, to my knowledge. I think this is his last game of football, and he'll, he'll hang it. He'll hang his boots up and go out with a bang. I think they're inspired looking against the Lions. I think they'll continue that form, but. They have to play the, their game, not focus too much on stopping Richmond playing their game, but getting their brand of footy straight in, straight away, get playing the Geelong way and get the points on the board. It's going to be tight. I don't believe either team's going to hammer any, I don't think it's going to be a 2019 repeat where the Richmond have went out and smashed the Giants. I don't think any team's going to go out and do win by a huge margin like that. I think there's maybe only going to be a couple of goals in it, whoever wins. But I've just got that feeling it's going to be Geelong. It's going to be a narrow win. 
But um, as I said, to get it, I think they're going to have to seriously um, get the points up pretty early and have that lead in the first half, like you've seen so much of this year. Um, even if they do take a big lead, like you've seen this year, I think Richmond will possibly close the gap. But either way, I believe it's going to be a tight game. But um, Geelong being 2020 flag winners. Cannot wait. Anyway, whoever wins, I think it'll be a fantastic game. Two huge clubs. Maybe not the two clubs I would have liked to have seen it seen in this final based on 2020. I thought I would have liked to see Port. Of course, the Doggies. I want the Doggies, but um, likelihood of the Doggies this year wasn't as high in my opinion. St Kilda would have been great. Brisbane Lions would have been great, but we've got Richmond again. What can I say? They just know how to do it. Sensational football club. A lot of fans in the AFL will be wanting them to lose. That comes with the territory of being um, crowned champions two out of three years, doesn't it? I mean, uh, when you win things, people, other than your own supporters, everybody hates continued success for, for one team. Um, and I think a lot of the AFL will be um, back in Geelong on this one. Not because they like Geelong, but because they dislike Richmond. Um, and as I say, that just comes with the territory of being a successful sports team, successful footy club. There's no um, denying how how good they are when they're on their day. When they are playing their game, they're absolutely a thing of beauty to watch. I've called it sexy footy in the past, and that it really is. I think this is the occasion for a Dustin Martin, and I would not be surprised if he steps up on grand final again, and Bruce is absolutely chugging one out over him. You know what he's like. Uh, he's got a love affair with Dusty. I imagine Bruce's room is absolutely covered with Dusty posters. Maybe even Danger in there, you know what I mean? The two most loved boys. I'd imagine uh, Danger, he's got... Half dusty, half danger. It's like the grand final dream for Bruce. He is going to be absolutely chugging one out over this uh, grand final. There's no doubt about that. But as I was uh, at the point I was getting to about Dusty, if he steps up, it really could be a different story from the one I've predicted. He's done it before. He could do it again. There's no surprises for me. Either way, whoever wins, both uh, absolutely fantastic footy clubs, a wash for experience, a wash for young guns as well that are pretty damn good. Um, but, look, as I said, Tom Hawkins is missing, so it's up to the likes of your Ablett Juniors to inspire the victory. Your Danger Fields, that I've already mentioned, done very, very well. Um, and a couple of the young guys as well, in and around them, to go out there and do it. Rowan's another one I've absolutely, I love watching. So, anyway, look, really looking forward to it, but a Geelong win. Let me know who you think is going to win the grand final. Who do you think is going to get... Um, the best on the ground. I think it's probably going to be Dusty. I do think it's going to be Dusty. Um, just because they always fucking... They, they, there's something just draws people to Dusty. Um, if it's not Dusty, who would I like it to be? I would like it to be... If it's a Geelong win, I would like it to be um, Gary Ablett Jr. for his last game possibly in the sport. What a servant to this great sport. What a servant to the Geelong Football Club as well. Um, he's thoroughly respected and loved by footy fans across uh, the footy community. He's just one of those guys, you can't dislike him. He's a, he's an absolute gun, isn't he? Um, uh, and as I say, he would be the player I'd want to win it. I think it's probably going to be Dusty. Um, but, look, hopefully a Geelong win anyway, because that's what I've predicted. So, anyway, look here. May the best team win, I should say. But, prediction sense, Geelong. Thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone, and smash that notifications bell on to keep um, seeing videos when... Uh, obviously, we're at the end now. We're going to be at the end of the 2020 season. It's been a pretty difficult one for many as a reason. But... Um, I'm going to continue the content. I have been quite um, slow in uploading this last week or so, um, but I'm going to continue through the closed season when there's no footy on doing requests. I've obviously got to do a, a few requests for patrons. Um, if you want to become a patron, check it out. If you'd like to donate and help the channel, check it out. All that stuff's going to be in the description section below, as well as our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, AFL. Facebook group is the Don Fellers AFL group. Check it out. Join that page as well. You're more than welcome. And that's it. Enjoy Saturday, everyone. It should be an absolute cracker. Uh, and I'm sure the Gabba will be absolutely rocking for this one. I cannot wait. See you all soon. Goodbye.